Hey y'all, N4H and H here. I just worked the station here. You hear this? Not him, the other one. Him. So that is Echo Golf 5, Whiskey Whiskey Alpha in Spain. And so I was looking at the MUF map, the maximum usable frequency map. Let me show you that. I'll bring it up here. And you can see all that, all that reddish orange there. That is the 10 meter propagation as of uh, 1658 on January 10th, 2024. Now I've shown you in another video that as the day, uh, progresses, all this coverage over here is going to shift around over here. So that as the day goes on, that's what happens. Now there, the, the 10 meter band is getting much, much better these days because there were times when you only had just little streaks across South America there. So it's getting pretty solid. Um, uh, so, you know, we're going to be peaking out in the next couple of years, and then the sunspot cycle will take us back down again, and we won't have that kind of coverage. So uh, those of you who are techs, if you see this video, now is your opportunity to take advantage of the ability to work HF as a technician class licensee here in the U.S. Um, but, of course, I encourage you to upgrade to general. But I want you to see uh, that, you know, right now the 10-meter band is just is hot. So uh, that's not the reason for the color, I don't think. But anyway, it's, it's, it's hot. It's happening. Now, you'll notice right where I am, the red dot there in the U.S., I won't have 10-meter coverage close in. It's, it's a long-range band. But you can see that um, Europe, South America, pretty much Africa, a little fading here and there, but good coverage uh, worldwide right now. Um, now, what I want you to know about this is I can hear him because where he's located is in Spain, which is easily in the area that is covered. Now, there was another station that, that uh, spotted on 28364, a soda station, still showing up there, of F4IHG. Now, I... I went and listened for him, so let me let me do this. I'm going to tune the radio. So I thought, well, if I can hear the guy in Spain, what are my chances of getting the station in France? Still got a little power line noise, waiting on the power company to come out. See, there's 28364. See what I mean, power line noise? <laughs> Turning on the noise blanker and putting it in wide mode. All right, of course, this is the FTDX 5000, but it doesn't matter what radio, just happens to be the one I was using. I don't hear this station. So let me show you what I did. I thought, hmm, man, well, you know, it is kind of over there on the edge of the coverage, but let me see what the VOA cap says. So I'm gonna move you over to this screen uh, bear with me here as I get the camera positioned. So I'll click on that one. All right, now you see it's showing me the temperature. I just clicked on that station that's on 28364. Temperature is 27 degrees. 88% humidity. There's, you know, barometer, wind, everything. Now, when that goes away, the VOA cap index is going to give me my... Uh, propagation chances there it is okay so you can see there on the 10 meter band i have no opportunity to work that station now in the next hour it'll go yellow which means i have between a 33 and 66 percent chance of working that station red means you have less than a 33 percent chance see the red block there where my arrow is so right now uh, my best chances to get that station would be on 12, 15, or 17 meters, and that's not where he's operating right now. So I have found this VOACAP uh, data to be quite accurate. And by the way, let me just point out today the sunspot number down here, right here, where it says S equal 175. That's nice. And also up here in the top right, the solar flux index is 176. And as long as the X-ray is in A, B, or C land, we're okay with that too. Uh, we don't really want to see that BZ go negative. 
Um, but, you know, so far, so good. Uh, that's predicting auroral activity, and you want the planetary K index here, KP, to be as low as possible. I mean, in other words, point, I've seen 0 0.9, 0 0.7, those are good numbers, but even uh, a 2.3 is not bad. You just don't want to see 10, you know. Um, and that, so on this sc uh, screen up here, I, you know, you got a lot of different choices. I turn off the default and I turn on space WX, space weather, because I get more use from that because I can get everything but the sunspot number there, but I got the sunspot number over here in the VOACAP index. And, and if you haven't watched my other videos on this, I'll give you a quick rundown. Based on 100 watts, and you got a lot of different options here, this is in the new update. It used to be you could choose 1 watt, 100 watts, uh, 1 watt, 10 watts, 100 watts, or 1,000 watts. Now we've got other increments. But I go with 100 watts, default. That means that this VOACAP data is based upon 100 watts. So if that station was on 12, 15, or 17, I've got a good chance of working them with 100 watts. Yeah. Whereas now if I were to go down to 5 watts, my chances get slim, right? You see that? So back to 100. And then I leave it on CW also. That gives you better chances. Um, if I put it on sideband, watch what happens. But I work a lot of CW. See, you got a lot better chance of working that station on CW than you do sideband. Now, you know, I'll give you this anecdotal uh, information from a good engineer friend of mine. He likes to say it this way, that it takes approximately 45 watts of sideband to equal 5 watts of CW. That's not scientific numbers, but I know his experience level, and I've experienced it too, that, you know, out doing summits on the air with our QRP stations, you know, we, we can do really, really well with 5 watts doing CW. Turn that radio now. So, and then the takeoff angle, I leave that at the default of three. You got several different options here, you know, depending upon your, if you've got a one degree takeoff angle, you got a pretty incredible antenna to be honest with you. Uh, but I leave that on the default. And then short path, what that is, is down here in the lower left. Again, this is kind of a recap. I've covered this in other videos. Uh, but I get people that, that well, they're what I call drive-bys. They'll, they'll watch one video and then say, well, you didn't show this and you didn't show that. Okay, just rude people, I guess, you know, or they didn't, uh, they tried to make, they formed an opinion based upon one video. I can't cover everything in the world in one video. Uh, but anyway, down here, you'll see that that uh, station was is 4,209 miles away, the one I clicked on. I would stand a better chance of getting him with a, if I had a beam aimed at 48 degrees. So that's what this is, short path, SP. So I'm telling it to show me the short path degrees that I need to aim my beam. I don't have a beam, you know that. I run wire antennas. But uh, that's what that setting does for you. If you were to change that to LP, see it says now I want to aim at 228. So I'm going to leave that on short path. And then of course, like I said, there's a nice convenient place to see the sunspot number without having to use one of these panes up to show the sunspot number. So no go on the uh, French station. I uh, see one of my soda friends, A Alpha Charlie One Zulu, has popped up here, checking VOACAP to see what my chances are to get him on 20 meters. He's in the states, could be iffy, uh, but you know, you saw what I wanted you to see. The VOACAP is um, pretty pretty close. You know, kind of depends on where you set that power rating at. Um, you know, so you always, you know, I'll always give it a try. You know, also, too, my experience tells me at certain times of the day, I just know that I don't have a chance. You know, that'd be like me thinking, hey, I want to talk to my friend Vince up in Tennessee on 20 meters. Not going to happen during the day. Not going to happen at all. Uh, the, the chances are better during the day. I, I know that during the day, if I want to talk one state away, 40 meters is my friend. Maybe 80. But, you know, throughout the day, 80 is going to get uh, shorter and shorter in distance. Uh, so it shows me that um, 20 meters, see it's yellow. I have between a 33 and 66% chance of being able to hear Bob. So it might would work. As I close this video, I'll, I'll go there. Uh, 14064. Okay, I've got the volume way up.
No, see, it's iffy. I could try a different antenna. Right now I'm using the doublet over to the ZS6BKW. And I'll even try the off-center fed dipole and the vertical. Notice the vertical brings in a little bit more atmospheric noise. You, I know you, you were thinking noise. That sounds like a ringing. Well, it's just the noise pushing more signal through the filters causes that ringing. So, no. Uh, oh, he's moved to 14060. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to close the video and work, Bob. Uh, so there you go. It, it's telling me that I've got only for the next hour, though. Look at that in the yellow right there. Watch my, watch my mouse. See right there? I'll zoom in on that. Okay, you see where the arrow is? So for the next hour, I have between a 33 and 66% chance of working Bob on 20 meters. And uh, ironically, I'd be good to go on 10 through 17, which is very interesting because uh, according to the MUF map, maximum usable frequency map over here on the other, uh, on the HF clock, well, he's in an iffy region. I might, yeah, okay, I got it. So maybe I could. Uh, but, uh, uh, well, as far as 10 meters, I thought 10 meters is right on the edge, but it thinks I can get him. But I'm looking at the muff map over here, and it uh, definitely looks like 12, 15, 17 uh, would work to, to where Bob is. And when I say where Bob is, Bob is usually up in New Hampshire, in, that, in the northeast so uh, I didn't check what somebody's on, but uh, that, that would be uh, usually his territory. All right. Well, hey, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. And if you would, please do me a favor and, and hang around for 34 more seconds. I want to acknowledge five of the Patreon team long hauler members who make these videos possible. Without them, you would not have seen this video. These are people who support my work here on a yearly basis. Some have even uh, supported me now for over three years. So I want to acknowledge them. Hey, thanks again for watching videos on my channel and 73 from N4 H&H.